Hello, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for joining us in this amazing space in New York City or online via the webcast around the world or for our engineering team back in Redmond. Thank you for joining us earlier than we've ever asked you to join us before, but we are so honored to be here today and show off, unveil all your hard work. It's hard to believe, but it's only been 10 weeks since we started rolling out Windows 10 around the world. Our team has been humbled by all of the feedback we've received. Over the last year, we've been building and shaping this product with millions of Windows insiders. It's been the best experience for all of us to work together and shape this experience. And now it's just pretty amazing that 110 million devices are now running Windows 10. What have these millions of people been doing with Windows 10? Well, they have viewed 650 billion web pages with our new Microsoft Edge browser. People are having more fun, streaming over 120 years. 120 years of gameplay have been streamed from Xboxes to their new Windows 10 devices. And they're exploring the new, more personal experiences of Windows 10, asking Cortana over one billion questions. And these millions of people have not just been upgrading their current devices. The share of Windows devices at retail has grown each month since Windows 10 has been available. Yeah. And over these 10 weeks, these millions of people have made over 1 billion visits to our Windows App Store. And developers are seeing great engagement from these over 1 billion visits. Developer revenue has increased four times since the Windows 10 upgrade started rolling out. We're seeing increased application usage on Windows 10. Netflix users are now spending more time in the Netflix app than the Netflix website. And this early activity is attracting new universal Windows apps to Windows 10. Today, we're very excited to announce that Facebook will be building all new universal Windows apps for Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger. <laughs> Additionally, we're excited to see new universal apps from Soda, for Soda Saga, CBS, Audible, Flipagram, Uber, and many, many more. It's just been a whole, it's been so fantastic to work with these great developers on Windows 10. We've also been energized by the response from IT pros. There's now over 8 million business PCs already running Windows 10. Businesses around the world are evaluating the security, identity, and information protection, the simplified management and deployment, and planning the rollout of Windows 10 to their organizations. IT pros are telling us that the security built into Windows 10 is critical to keeping their businesses safe. And business custom the result of this is that our business customers are now moving faster to Windows 10 than they have ever before on any previous release to Windows, with over 50% of our managed customers already starting their Windows 10 trials. Now today, this morning, we're gonna start the next chapter for Windows 10 with new devices designed for Windows 10 from partners worldwide and from Microsoft. These new devices have new chips new hardware, new capabilities like Windows Hello, Cortana, and Continuum, all made possible by Windows 10. We're incredibly excited by this device lineup with devices designed for the best in entertainment, health, productivity, devices designed for the workplace, for the home, for schools, or on the go. Our partners have built amazing new devices. Over the coming weeks, 
will be joining many of them around the world as they unveil their device lineup. This is the best device lineup we've ever had for Windows from our partners. But this morning, we're here to talk about Microsoft devices. We design our Microsoft devices to create and reinvent categories. Like we did with Xbox when we added Xbox Live and enabled a new level of multiplayer gaming. More recently, like we did with Surface when we created the tablet that can replace your laptop. Like we're doing now with phones and Continuum, Surface Hub, and HoloLens. Now, speaking of Xbox, this holiday, we've got an incredible games lineup coming to Xbox One. The greatest games lineup in Xbox history, perhaps in console history. And this holiday, we'll be upgrading all Xbox Ones to Windows 10, enabling a whole new Xbox experience and bringing our Xbox gamers their number one requested feature, the ability to play their Xbox 360 games on their Xbox One. And there's no better way to play all these games on new limited edition consoles that we are introducing this holiday. These consoles are inspired by this year's biggest titles, like my favorite, the Halo 5 console that will be available October 20th with one terabyte of storage for $499. This holiday, we also have a new Elite Gaming Controller, a controller like no other. This is the most advanced gaming controller anyone's ever created, bringing game-changing accuracy and speed to gameplay, not only on your Xbox One, but also on your Windows 10 PC. So now, let me preview our new TV ad for Xbox gaming that we will launch later this week. There are those who take steps and those who make the great leap forward. Those who stay as they are and those that become more than they ever thought possible. They compete and are fearless. There are those satisfied by common pursuits. And those for whom the extraordinary will never be enough. So ask yourself, will you step or will you leap? Now that's what we call console class graphics. Xbox One is going to bring some serious fun this holiday. Now speaking of devices that are breaking new ground, let's talk about HoloLens. Instead of immersing yourself in a world of pixels on a screen, HoloLens brings experiences into our real world opening a window, a new window, into the future of personal computing. Whether it's for productivity, design, healthcare, or entertainment, HoloLens creates innovative experiences that are simply not possible on any other device or any other platform. As you've seen all year, we've been so fortunate to work with great partners across many industries. But today, we wanted to try something a little different and show you something we've been developing internally and playing at home with our families. It's an exploration in mixed reality entertainment made possible by HoloLens. Let's take a look.
Thanks, Terry. Today, we're excited to show you mixed reality gaming on HoloLens. Specifically, how HoloLens can turn every room of your house into a personalized video game level. Now, to do that, we're going to be showing you a game codenamed Project X Ray. We also have this custom camera that can see a full view of every hologram. Dan sees all the holograms he's looking at, but this camera will show you all of the action on stage. Now, Project X-Ray is a game that can be played in any room, but today Dan's going to be playing it here, and you're going to see him defend this stage from a mixed reality robot invasion. Previously, we've shown you how HoloLens can place amazing holograms in your world, and how those holograms can interact with the environment around you. But today, we want to take mixed reality one step further. So we've got something new to show you. Holograms you can hold. This holographic gauntlet is the weapon that Dan will be using while playing Project X-Ray. You'll notice that as he moves his arm, the hologram moves as well. This is a wearable hologram. And when you combine technology like this with the environment understanding of HoloLens, you can do some pretty spectacular things. Nice. All right, let's battle some robots. With HoloLens, you're completely untethered, which means Dan is free to move around as he shoots at enemies and avoids their fire. With HoloLens, the action happens all around you. And thanks to spatial sound, you'll hear the gameplay as though it's happening in your room. You'll notice that the robots know where the walls and the furniture are, and they can use that knowledge to navigate and plan attacks against you. Since each room is unique, Every game is customized to you. That didn't work. What else you got? Vortex mode. Holograms behave just like real objects. They can interact with the environment and with each other. For larger enemies with more powerful weapons, Dan can even use his shield to defend himself. Nicely done. Looks like that's all of them. We hope you enjoyed Project X-Ray and Mixed Reality Gaming on HoloLens. But that's just a taste, because with Mixed Reality Entertainment, you never know what's around the corner. just so cool. HoloLens is the only device that mixes holograms into our world, opening up these entirely new computing experiences. HoloLens is packed with space-age technology, see-through HD holographic lenses, spatial sound, sensors to map your environment and understand your movements, and custom-built silicon, the world's first holographic processing unit. And even with all of this technology, HoloLens is fully untethered. No wires, no phones, no connection to a PC required. And now is the time when we want to unlock the creativity of Windows developers worldwide 
So starting today, we are taking applications for the HoloLens Development Kit, which will be available in the first quarter of 2016 for $3,000. It has been so exciting to work with partners in so many industries, from NASA, Autodesk, Case Western Reserve University. We've seen so many amazing experiences that transform the way our partners work, communicate, and learn. And now, I just can't wait to see what Windows developers are going to do with holographic computing. So now, Let's talk about another part of our lives where Microsoft devices can have a meaningful impact. We designed the Microsoft Band to help people take control of their health and fitness in a more personalized way, from seasoned athletes to people who are renewing their commitment to fitness. Here is the new Microsoft Band. limits. They're there to be pushed, challenged, exceeded. Limits are things to go beyond. Got it. I'm on my way. To look at in your rear view mirror while you move forward. So live with nothing standing in your way. Introducing the new Microsoft Band for people who want to live healthier and achieve more. With Microsoft Band, there are no limits to what you can do. So do great things. I'm so excited to tell you about the new Microsoft Band. I'm Lindsay, and I'm on the Microsoft Band and Microsoft Health team. I love my band. It goes everywhere I go. I run, hike, cycle, and most importantly, I train with it. Over the course of the past 10 years, I've spent most of my free time running marathons and finishing a couple half Ironman triathlons along the way. But don't get me wrong, I am solidly a middle of the pack athlete. But now that I live in the Pacific Northwest, I am earning my street cred by training for my first ultra marathon. And the Microsoft Band has totally optimized my training. I can now completely and systematically achieve so much more than a personal record. I can achieve my personal best, and you can too, wherever you are on your health journey. Since the Microsoft Band launched last year, we've been incorporating customer feedback. Customers provided great feedback on functionality, hardware, and partnerships. And we took that feedback along with our own midday team runs, Friday fitness workouts, and Microsoft Research, scenario-based ideation. Hey, what would cyclists, golfers, and gym rats want? We kept grinding to push the product, innovate, improve experiences for you. Now, I just want to share some of my personal favorite things about the band. First, the design. When we set out to create this version, we had a couple of design principles. Optimize for the individual who goes to work and enjoys working out, like me. Make it breathable and flexible. No rigidity in any directions. No uncomfortable shoulders, no hard edges. And above all, it must curve nicely around the wrist. Yeah, awesome. So we figured out a way to optimize the screen size and redesign the screen itself so it curves. Plus, with the Gorilla Glass, the organic LED screen is scratch-resistant and optimized to be more responsive to touch, which is amazing. Right on. 
but we also brought all of the well-loved features from the original band. So that means you've got your onboard GPS mapping, UV monitoring, guided workouts, you can track your sleep and your calories. You can also set up customizable notifications for your calls, texts, emails, and social updates. Cortana integration. So let's say you miss a workout. Cortana will offer to reschedule it for you. It'll keep you updated on your calorie expenditure throughout the day with a constantly updating graph. But our customers asked for something specific, a way to track elevation. I get it, I love spending time in the mountains. So we added an 11th sensor, a barometer. Yeah. Now you can track your fitness with even more precision by measuring elevation changes in real time. Great for hiking, biking, or just climbing stairs. Now this is truly awesome work to be contributing to for me personally. Our research shows as customers are using the band, they're burning more calories. They're using the band to track their run and they're running longer distances. They're increasing their workout times and they're analyzing their sleep patterns to maximize their rest between workouts. The band is providing information that is usable, crunchable, and applicable. It doesn't matter if you're a serious athlete halfway through an amazing career or if you just want to understand your sleep, track it, and jog around the neighborhood for the first time. Now, I have been using the new band during my recent marathon training. And like a lot of runners, I can get really into my data. With the Microsoft Band, I have constant and immediate access to big data. My own big data. My every run, my every step, my every workout, and my every night of sleep. With Microsoft Health, which powers the band, I can dig right into that stuff as soon as I've finished a run or an exercise. This makes it usable data that can help me optimize more than my workout, but my post-workout rest. As you can see from the details of my recent run, I understand my low peak and average heart rate using the continuous heart rate monitor, which is on the band. I understand how my calorie burn breaks out in carbs versus fats and properly refuel after a run. I also have insight on my recovery as detailed in my cardio benefit. Only the Microsoft Band does this. Pretty awesome. One of the most important measurable components of fitness is VO2 max, which is simply the maximum amount of oxygen your body can process in one minute. So women my age can hit about 40 or 50 with solid training. Now compare that to endurance cyclists who can hit about 80 or 90, which is insanely amazing. But what was once a trip for hardcore athletes to a serious training center and a bunch of straps attached to your face, hopping on a treadmill, is now available on, on your wrist. As the band tracks heartbeat plus our algorithm, we can estimate your maximum volume of oxygen. And trust me, it's not a very fun test. That, that image you, shot, you saw was me. So when I say only the Microsoft band does this, that's amazing. Now we're committed to delivering tech-powered insights for everyday athletes, no matter the sport you play, and that includes golf. And while I'm still punishing myself by trying to learn the game, the band is truly helping me. First of all, it provides unprecedented automatic shot detection. So that means it knows whether I'm putting, if I'm driving the ball, if I'm taking practice swings, and it doesn't count my practice swings. This is all delivered based on our built-in gyroscope, accelerometer, and vibration sensors. When I walk up to the tee box, it actually knows what tee I'm at, the distance to the green, the calories I've spent, and my heart rate. It's like having your own virtual golf caddy. And when my round's complete, I get an automatic scorecard. Only the Microsoft Band does all of this. The new Microsoft Band is the only wearable device that offers this kind of deep functionality across iOS, Android, and importantly, Windows devices. And Microsoft Health is now a Windows app that works across your phone and PC, providing you all of this data wherever you are, on the green, on a bike, it's amazing. But we know our customers have partnerships and relationships and communities of data outside of Microsoft Health and Microsoft Band. So throughout the last year, we have worked to bring in these new partners. 
as you can see, an amazing list. And we're ensuring these experiences are risk optimized. So if you want to use Uber, you're just one touch away. If you want to do a guided workout with Gold's Gym, you're just one touch away. If you want to stay connected via Facebook, one touch away. Today we're thrilled to announce another new partner. Lose It is one of the top nutrition trackers in the world. With one glance of, at your Microsoft band, you know how many calories you've burnt, how many you have left to consume, and how many steps you'll need to take before you grab another latte on your way out today. And what's truly exciting is you won't have to wait long to get a new Microsoft band. You can pre-order the band later today, and it will be available beginning October 30th and will retail for $249. The Microsoft Band is ready to be a big part of your health story. It's your coach to get you to the start line. It's your pacer who helps you train and race. It's your personal assistant who helps you stay on top of day-to-day -day life and work. No matter your sport, no matter your health story, the Microsoft Band is here to help you live healthier and achieve more. Thank you. Thank you, Lindsay. Now, let's talk about devices that we design to make people more productive than ever before. Let's talk about Surface and Lumia. <laughs> Surface is the iconic Microsoft device for people who want to be productive. It is the tablet that can replace your laptop. In just three years, Surface has grown from a zero-dollar business for Microsoft to over three and a half billion dollars a year. Now, both Dell and HP are reselling Surface to their business customers, and the entire Windows ecosystem has embraced this category which Surface created of two-in-ones, with sales more than doubling in the last year. We see our opportunity with Lumia like we once looked at the opportunity with Surface to reinvent the category and make people more productive in new ways. And customers are responding. In the last year, almost 1,000 new businesses have chosen Lumia to help them be more productive. So now let's hear from the person who we've recently chosen to lead the entire Microsoft device family. Please welcome Panos Panay to share some more news with you. <laughs> wow. That was kind of cool. Uh, welcome. It's great to see you. It's great to see you. Terry, thank you, man. I, I'm unbelievably excited to be here today. We got a lot to talk about. What did you guys think of that hollow demo? Was that killer? Oh my god. It blew me away. When I saw it, it blew me away. Can you imagine what we're doing? Do you know how blessed I feel to lead devices for Microsoft right now? The opportunities, all the things we're bringing together, everything we're bringing together, what Windows 10 is doing right now to thread it all perfectly together, it's mind blowing. When you see it, just look a little further, just look a little deeper, it's happening right now. And I've been doing it a short time and I gotta tell you, I'm excited about what I'm seeing, but let me just start talking to you a little bit about Lumia. Can I tell you about the new phones really quick? That's what we're gonna do. First off, this team, I've been working with them for a very short time, but I gotta tell you, the passion, the creativity, the desire, the desire to bring you the most productive products possible, it's unmatched, it's unmatched. I'm so inspired by this team, and you just think about what they're doing. They're building the best products for Windows that can possibly be made for Windows 10. And think about Windows 10. There are 110 million, did you hear that? 110 million devices in eight weeks running Windows 10. Did you, did anybody hear it? Think about what that means for the phone. 
the power of Windows security, the power of the Windows update, keeping you fresh all the time. That same consistent UI from Windows 10 on your PC, on your Surface, to your phone. It's just awesome, and I've been, God, I've been enjoying every minute of it. Think about what comes across. Cortana, a billion questions asked? Think about one that's in your pocket. Edge, you're using it, those settings carry across in your pocket. Super powerful. The full office, the best Outlook client you can find anywhere. Let me just say this, the best mail client on the planet, on this phone. But what is it? Who brings it to life? What does it come with? Let me introduce you to the Lumia 950 family. I'm going to talk to you about the phone, but before we jump in too far, I want to talk about the hardware just a little bit, just, just give you a little glimpse of what's happening in the technology and what this team, what this Lumia team has put together, which I think is pretty powerful and for me has been super powerful. Let's start with the antennas and always being connected. It's a principle of mine. I want to share it with you. I kind of want you to feel it. And we're just getting started here, but these, these antennas, these are generations in the making. Okay, there are two antennas in this product, but why? Why? Why two? Who puts two? And they are vast, and they are some of the best on the planet. It's like, literally, it's like it's this whole thing of pushing more than one phone in a phone. Because when you hold it, when you're holding your phone up like you're doing right now, no matter where you're holding it, we will choose for you to give you the best connection you could possibly have. What's a phone all about? What is a phone? Start with what a phone is. Staying connected, and that's what that does. It's a great tech. On top of that, that's cool. Yeah. That was totally for the geeks in the room, by the way. I'm so glad you appreciate it, man, because I love that. All right. We also have the octa-core and hexa-core processors. I have two phones to introduce you to today. We have the 950, which uses the hexa-core processor, and the 950XL, which uses the octa-core. We use the latest Qualcomm technology, and we push that technology to every limit possible. We push it by using tablet class liquid cooling, literally coming from our Surface team into our phones because what we wanted was to push these machines as hard as we possibly could because we want to make them as productive as possible because we want to bring Windows 10 to life in your pocket. That's the whole goal. And that's what the Lumia team has done. It is just phenomenal technology. The phones come with a 5.2 inch and a 5.7 inch screen. They're absolutely beautiful organic LEDs. Yep, they're gorgeous. These things are 500 DPI. You put your eyes on this screen, it's super soft. You'll never see a pixel. This is all simple. You know this. You know it because I saw you write about it already, so I'm just blowing through. I know, which was terrible, by the way. Can you not do that next time? I don't... Ruins my moment. What I love about LED, I'm going to just share with you. Look, I'm always moving. I'm moving fast, and my children are at home watching. But I will tell you, one of my big things in life is to be more present when I'm at home, be more present with my team when we're sitting around making a phone or a Surface, like this is a big deal for me. Well, here's something that Windows 10 has done and has lit me up and has helped me so much. When you pull your phone out of your pocket, you can't see this because it's so dim, but you pull your phone out of the pocket, you don't have to push a button, you don't have to do anything. I get so much information in the glance screen technology. Let me relate this to the OLED screen. We can light up the pixels we want to light up. And now I have a picture of my kids. I know what my next meeting is. It says I'm supposed to be here. That's good. I also know how many mails I have, how many texts I have, what time is it, what date is it. I didn't touch anything. And by the way, I'm using zero battery life while I stand here and get all that information. Zero. <laughs> Now, granted, it's not the best thing to say, hey, I'm super present by glancing and putting it away, but it's a lot better than me turning on my phone, logging in, finding what I wanted to find. I mean, it keeps me there. It's so important. Now, being present and being connected with your family, that's a big deal, right? Would you guys agree? Somebody in here has a family, right? You agree with that? Yeah, it's super important to me. I think you're going to feel that with all our products today. But here's what I'll tell you. There's probably nothing more important on the, ca on the phone right now than a camera. Being connected, yes. Full power and performance, yes. Think about the heritage of Lumia. Think about the Lumia 1020 that came out and started to change the way people thought about cameras off the back of the devices. Now, you probably have a product in your pocket right now that has a great camera on it. But I will tell you, all the generations of work that have come into the camera on these new products will blow your mind. It's got a 20 megapixel sensor, which is just beautiful. It's unbelievable in low light. So if you're taking a picture in low light, you will get the full sensor, the full camera, the full picture you want. If you wanted to use the flash, we have a triple RGB flash off the back of the product. What does that mean? I know in words, here's what it means. When you take a picture, there's no red eye. 
Here's what it means. When you take a picture, you don't look like a ghost. You look like a human. You get the true color coming off. In the product, we have an optical image stabilizer. This is a really cool part of the technology. It's five generations in the making. I, this is the part where I look at it and go, oh, my, I'm so inspired. I'm so pumped for what we can do. So pumped. It literally, for me, I cannot take a picture to save my life. Every time I take one, it's blurry. You take a picture with this phone, that stabilizer, I don't care if the image is moving or I'm moving. It's going to be clear. It is absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous camera. Now, I'm going to talk to you. <clears throat> We've talked in the past some of the principles of product making. Sometimes the smallest little, smallest little feature on a product, just the smallest one, can have the biggest impact. We've talked about this before. If you've been with me for a while, you know we believe in this. This was something that was important to me on these products. I just, as a kid growing up, every camera I picked up, do you know how I took a picture? I used to push a button. I know times are changing and you can take a picture touching your screens, do that all day. But I used to push a button, this button, I'd push it. And just because I pushed it, as simple as that was, I'm now taking, ha, I'm taking you in 4K video right now, as it turns out. So that little moment you had, check it out. Now I'm taking me, which is super weird, but you get the point. Literally, I just push a button and take it out of my pocket. I know it's small, man, it's super powerful, but you know what else just happened? All that information just went to the cloud. I have it forever. It's awesome. This phone has 32 gigs. If you wanted to store it, store it. You've got so much storage. You know what else Windows 10 allows you to do? It allows you to expand that memory. You know what these phones let you do? They let you do that. You can push, put right now, just get an SD card, put it in there, 256 gigs, and boom, you have all that memory for your files, for your pictures, and theoretically, when the hard drives catch up, you can push this thing to a full two terabytes in my pocket, two terabytes. Is that ridiculous? <laughs> Let's talk a little bit more about something that is a bit funny to talk about. I'm talking about the connector on the bottom of this product because it makes a few points. Let me just do that really quick. There's a USB Type-C connector. There's a Type-C connector on the bottom of this product. It's called USB-C. It's a pretty cool connector. It allows us to push five gigabits per second into the product right out of the product. Super lightning fast. Here's the first thing it does for you. If you burn your phone for two days, I bet a lot of you do, and you didn't have time to charge, or you went to bed and you didn't know, and you got a thousand mails, or you let it burn, and you woke up and you're like, man, I'm almost out of battery, my day's gotta start. Plug in this charger, literally, in less than 30 minutes, you get more than 50% charge and get yourself out of the house and get moving. That's what this connector lets you do. Important, I know, I know, they, they're fundamentals, but man, they're so important, this is what lights things up for you. Now, what's the point? You got all this processing power. We're using tablet class liquid cooling to cool these things. You got full Windows 10. It's coming to the phone. We have Office, Cortana, you have Skype, you have OneDrive. Your settings are carrying over. Edge is coming to life. You have the best mail client on the planet. This is supposed to be the most productive phone you've ever picked up, but what does that mean? Why do we push it? Why the octa-core? Why push it so far? Here's why. Now, we want to put Windows in your pocket. 110 million people using Windows 10 right now. If you haven't thought about these phones, wake up. Spend a minute. With the universal apps coming, 110 million in eight weeks, the opportunity is unbelievable. The best way to see that, and probably the most fun way to see it, is to see how Continuum really does bring the PC from the phone. I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Brian Roper to show you what that means. Brian. Thank you, Panos. How y'all doing this morning? Oh, we're awake, we're percolating, that's awesome. You ready to see this phone? Are you ready to see the phone now? All right, now check it out. I'm gonna jump right in. I have a lot to cover. So uh, the first thing I wanna start with is what you would probably start out doing on your phone first. That's unlocking it, signing into it. Uh, you've probably likely heard of Windows Hello, the biometric authentication method that we've brought to Windows 10 PCs recently. It's that personal fun experience. I mean, for me, who has an Xbox right now? Make some noise. Yeah? 
It blew my mind and made me smile the first time I stood in front of my Connect and I just smiled and said, hey, Brian. I was like, oh, me, that was great. When I saw that on PC, it lit up. And we're bringing that to, in beta to Windows Phone. So I'm, I'm gonna show you Windows Hello Beta now running on a phone. Very simple experience, you'll see. Uh, I'm gonna show you that unlock experience now. When I pick up this phone, it's gonna look for me just like that. Hey, Brian. And just like that, it unlocks. It was that fast. What do you think about that? I know. We're gonna jump right in now. I wanna walk you through just a couple things in the UI now. Uh, looks like we're gonna get that up now. Here we go. Uh, okay, so now, pay attention to my live, my live tiles here. Pay attention to this menu because I'm gonna anchor you to this in a second. There's my little son Max at his birthday. Office mobile that's free included with Windows Phone. Uh, you know, universal apps that are gonna scale and look great. Just take a look at that and take it in uh, because I'm gonna call back to this in a second here. Um, I have a text message that I just noticed I got. This is a guy named Todd. He's like, Brian, I know you're traveling, but you owe me a deck. You got to do some stuff. You know it's bad in the work world when they start texting you. It probably means you missed a bunch of mail in the box. They're mad at you. So, so I got to get some stuff done. This is a point where I need some, maybe some PC-like productivity. Okay? And with Continuum for Phone, I'm empowered to have that. I'm empowered to, to really use my phone like a PC. But how does that work? How do I do that? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna show you. Right now, I'm gonna hold this up for you. This is the Microsoft Display Dock, okay? This dock will enable me to connect my phone via that USB Type-C connection right there and utilize a large monitor, keyboard, and mouse with these little nice ports, okay, uh, to get a PC-like experience. Now, for the sake of the demo, just to save some time, I've already set one up here and plugged it into this monitor, keyboard, and mouse, so that's, that's what's going on here. But let's take a look at that experience now. Okay, what you're seeing looks like a Windows 10 desktop, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Chris, you might even be thinking, Brian, maybe you're tricking me with some demo magic. Maybe that's not really your phone. This is my phone, and I can prove it in a couple ways. Up here, you can see my signal bars. I only got one because we're in this deep building. So, so there you go. Uh, here we go. Uh, I got start. These right here are my live tiles from the phone that I showed you earlier. Remember that? Remember my little son, Max? Remember Office? These, this is my phone start menu because this is my phone. I'm going to keep hammering that back on you. This is my phone pushing this experience. All right? So now, remember Todd told me I had a mail to open. I'm going to open up this mail app now and actually click the, oh my gosh, y'all are blowing up Twitter. I forgot that my demo account <laughs> is my Twitter handle. That was bad. Let me scroll down there. Cool. Here's my mail from Todd. Uh, and you can see I have a couple, couple documents here. What I'm going to do now is just open up some stuff to get ready to get productive. I'm going to open up Word with a double click because there's something in there I got to get to to do. Uh, and now once that loads, remember this is, look, this is the Word Universal uh, mobile app, Word Mobile. It's now scaling. This is the one that comes on the phone. It's scaling to look great on this screen. And look, all the functionality you expect is there. The welcome back message is there with one click. It takes me to where I, where I was in this document last, right? And I want to go back and open some other stuff. So how do I multitask? More PC-like experience. Look down here. My taskbar has my icons like you'd expect. The one that's running is highlighted like you would expect. With one click on Outlook, I can jump to that app and utilize it like you would expect on a PC, except this is actually a what? It's a phone, that's right. So I'll double click PowerPoint now to open that up because I'm getting my stuff ready. Got to get this deck done because Todd's texting me in the middle of this, so it must be super important. Uh, and right now, I just want to pause. This is pretty cool. I showed you the taskbar, but look, I can bring up this task switcher and also bring that up. Who's used this task switcher on Windows 10 right now? It looks the same. Okay, now, I'm gonna pause before I do the actual cool office stuff that I'm gonna show you with the copy and pasting. Just to prove to you that my phone is, is, is powering this, uh, we're gonna cut now to a side-by-side. -side. I'm gonna show you, while I'm doing this, my phone is still a phone. You can see up here I'm connected to my monitor. But look, I can go back to my start menu, I can navigate things, I could open up and start texting people. My actual phone experience is not broken while I'm utilizing the desktop experience of Continuum. And neither is the one here. Each experience is in, in, independent and uninterrupted. So you're not blocked on any front, but the phone is powering this whole thing. Uh, now, while I have this open side by side, I want to show you something kind of cool. I talked about the power of these universal apps, how they can scale to screen sizes. Watch this. Right here on my monitor, the phone is pushing the Outlook Universal app, right? Watch this. I'm going to open it on the phone, and you're actually going to see it collapse and scale down to the phone. That's the power of a, of a universal app in action. This app does not care what screen size it is. It just adapts in real time and looks great. What do you think of that? Yeah. But now, i got to do some stuff in PowerPoint. So let me, let me get into the nitty-gritty and actually show you this. Um, I'm going to jump over to Word because I have to put a table in the middle of this deck. That's what the mail said. So look at this. Here's Word. I want to put this table there. Guess what? 
I can select it, and even though my phone is powering this, I can use all the keyboard shortcuts I'm familiar with. So actually, on my keyboard now, we're gonna cut to a camera where you can see my hand. Make sure that that comes up there. I actually am gonna do old control uh, C, and guess how I'll switch? How about I try a little bit of Alt-Tab just to jump over to PowerPoint. Alt-Tab on my phone to switch between Office apps, that's insane, and I'll just go ahead and do control V to paste that table. I am not fitting the purple, I, even though I'm wearing it, so maybe I'm a little bit of a hypocrite. I'm gonna jump to the little slate there and get the rich formatting of the table the way that I want it. Easy to move it into place. Okay, is that insane? The phone is doing this. How can we possibly, how can we possibly make this more like a PC? I, there's one little way. Okay, I love the cloud. I use the cloud all the time. It's important to me. But I'm paranoid sometimes. I don't know about you. I'm always, always worried that I'm going to get an email from old Todd or somebody when I'm away from internet or away from a way to connect, right? So a lot of folks like me still, just as a backup, maybe carry USB drives, maybe like to expand memory on their phone like Panos talked about. We want to have our stuff with us. So what's really awesome is this Microsoft Display Dock allows me to connect USB and removable media to it and utilize it with this desktop-like experience. And check this out, I'll just go to insert and a picture. And now it defaults to the photo app because I did choose pictures, but look, I can choose a location and there's my Lexar thumb drive. Just like that, I can choose that drive, come in and by the way, I can hold control to select the stuff that I want to or shift and I can bring in these graphics. Now check it out. These are fully transparent PNGs that I just brought in from a thumb drive powered by my phone into PowerPoint that looks like a desktop because I can be productive like a boss wherever I am now. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Now I don't want to, I don't want to, I'm, I'm glad you're excited. I don't want to just talk about work though because we, we like to play too. We play on the phones. This is an amazing device for entertainment consumption. You want to watch your videos, you want to stream stuff, this is awesome. Number one, of course, you can co connect to modern monitors wirelessly for a great video streaming experience. That's great. Um, but you've seen stuff like that. What I really want to call out here is the fact that this phone is actually connected to this display, but display dock means I'm getting full HDMI out of the back of this. That means I have full 1080p video. That means I have full, robust, ground-shaking audio coming out of that. And just to prove it to you, what I'm going to do is go over here and play this Jurassic World trailer. Listen to this. What? I'm going to stop that there. It's a relationship. I'm going to go ahead and stop that trailer now. I'll click to stop that. Oh. Did you hear that? That's insane. That's coming from a phone, folks. If you want to be productive at the top level, if you want to consume entertainment at the top level, these devices are built to let you do it. And only Windows is enabling these experiences I'm showing you right now for Continuum for Phone and that power of the HDMI out of that dock. Folks, did you like what you saw today? Well, I'm glad. I'm Brian Panos. I'm done, brother. Where you at, Pete? Come on back. Thank you, folks. That's my time. Thanks, Brian. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Thanks, Brian. A lot of fun. Hey, this is the 950 and the 950 XL. You just saw Continuum. You just saw the power of the PC through the phone. You saw Windows Hello come to life for the first time on a phone, which is super cool. That is the power of Windows. That is the power of putting Windows in your pocket. I mean, these phones really do. These, really, these phones really do start to act like a PC. It's super powerful. So you know the products start at 549. They're available in November. Make sure you go and check them out for sure. Before I wrap up, one more note. Just one more note on Lumia and phones, and I'll wrap up phones for you. But before I do that, I want to mention a different product that we're also shipping this holiday. It's a different way to think. This is a Lumia 550. It's much more affordable phone. And if you just wanted to leap into this ecosystem, it's got a quad-core processor. It's full LTE. It's a great product. It's got a great camera. It's available in December. And it's a pretty cool thing. What did you guys think of Lumia? It's very cool. Yeah. So I'm guessing you want to talk about Surface. <laughs> so do I. <clears throat> so I've been working with the team very closely for quite some time, and a lot of you have been with us through the generations for sure. And in Surface, you know, we pour our souls into making tablets that can replace your laptop. That's what we've been doing. We had this goal, this dream. We, we, we just push and we want to make you so much more. We want to make these the most productive devices on the planet. That's what we want. 
How do we do that? How are we going to do that? And we pushed and we pushed and now it's been amazing. What has happened? What the transformation? This intersection that we talked about, this challenge between the tablet and the laptop, which do you buy? You remember that problem? It's, it's gone. The momentum we see with Surface Pro 3 has just been so off the charts. It's so fun to watch the business grow, to watch people use it, to watch people adapt to it, to watch the product adapt to people. The ways that people use it are just, they're so inspiring, I want to share them with you. There's a gentleman here today, his name is Bob Maletti, he runs his own company and he's using Surface to do it. I was so inspired by his story because it reminded me so much when he thinks about the design and the beauty of the product and the engineering and all that that happens. Take a look at what Bob does with the Surface. I'm a big proponent of keeping things simple. And when we design machinery here, my goal is to have an operator walk up to it and understand immediately how the product is supposed to work. And then I see a product like the Surface Pro. You look at it and it's simplicity, but it's beautiful at the same time. When I get in in the morning, I plug it into the docking station and it synchronizes. And so now I always have this confidence of not only having my data in two places, but I have one that's very portable for me. I was anxious to see how hard I could push it. So I pulled up the model of the machine that we're working on. And there's about a thousand parts but the detail level goes down to the threads on screws. And I was stunned to be able to use my two hands to rotate and zoom is actually more effective than anything I've ever used before. It's better than the mouse and keyboard that I use on my normal workstation. You can do everything on it. I can have PDFs open, I can open up Solid Edge, I can have emails coming in, just like, you know, a laptop. The Surface Pro 3, I'm just blown away at how effective it is as a tool that I can put in my one hand and be able to edit and actually do 3D CAD. You know, this is just a breakthrough product. It's cool, right? Thank you, Bob. I gotta tell you that, you look at that and it's inspiring, but it's not just Bob, it's not. Now we have doctors right now picking up this product and connecting with their patients in ways they've never connected before. Never. We have composers writing symphonies with the pen that we provided that they're using. We have students taking the best notes on the planet, learning faster than they've ever learned before and loving the product. Here's my favorite, because this was the dream. We have engineers right now watching and back in Redmond that use their Surface to make the next generation of Surface. It's super powerful. 98% of people using Surface Pro 3 right now recommend it to their friend and family. Just absorb that. Absorb it. Recommend to your friends and family, the people you love and care about most, you're willing to recommend only the best things. 98% of people using a Surface Pro 3. This is everything. To me, this is everything. It's not about the product. Now, what do you do? 98% of people, they already love it. They're using it. The category is transforming. It's reinvented, as I've been told. We have competitors, you may have noticed. They're chasing it. It's pretty cool. What do you do? If you're me, if you're the team, what do you do? Do you double down? and bring the thunder? Or do you reinvent the category again? I'll tell you what we chose.
because this is the fourth generation, the fourth generation of building a tablet that can replace your laptop, and man, we are there. This product is thinner. It is the thinnest, most powerful core PC ever shipped, by far, nothing even close. The fit and finish on the product, it's exactly where you want it, exactly where you want it. There are subtleties in this product because we changed everything that you will never see. There are some that you will, but you will feel every part of this product when you pick it up, I promise you, you will feel it. Start with the screen. We went from 12 inches to 12.3 inches in the diagonal. No, we didn't change the footprint at all of the device, at all. We did it by reducing the bezels. We put the LCD gates into the panel itself. No one's ever done that before. It's very important. We wanted to give you more real estate for Windows 10, for Office, for the power that you use it for. But the screen, oh my God, it'll knock you out. 267 PPI, 267. That's over five million pixels, just right there. Five million pixels on the screen. When you look at this product, when you touch it, you will feel its depth, you will feel it. And the job of the screen, the job of the screen is make the content look real. Let the product fade to back. Let people use it the way they want to use it. But I want to talk to you about a new technology in this product because it's so much more than just the pixels anymore. Pixels are awesome and we all talk about it and this screen will blow you away when you look at it. It's so much more than pixels. So stay with me for a minute. We're, in, we're in introducing something that puts touch, pen, softness on the eyes, perfect contrast, the pixels, the screen all together, and we're calling it Pixel Sense Technology. I'm gonna walk you through Pixel Sense so you get a feel for the technology in this product. First off, the cover glass. It's 400 microns thick. That's 0.4 millimeters. That is the thinnest cover glass with Gorilla Glass 4 on it ever shipped on a tablet. It's important. It's not the claim, it's important. Not just so we can say it, it's critical to understand why. We have a 1.1 millimeter backlight in the product. We have a photo align oxide display as you would expect. It's the best technology on the planet on a screen right now. But it is the thinnest optical stack up anyone can ship. We also have our own custom chipset that brings it all together. I'm introducing to you today a chipset in this product called the G5 chipset brought to you by Microsoft. Let me explain to you what it does. In short, it takes that optical stack and then it brings the best pen and touch experience you've ever witnessed or felt on any product and on this product right here. And I'll explain that. Let me introduce to you the latest Surface Pen. Real quick, I'm just gonna walk you through the features. It has a tail eraser, it has this beautiful stick chin to it, so when you do a race from the back, isn't that funny, we finally put an eraser on it? It's kind of funny, there's a pencil out there without an eraser, it's weird, it's like backwards. Did you know right now, you don't know this, because only I know this, but I'm gonna share it with you. 50% of people using Surface Pro 3, you know they use a pen? You know when we started this, somebody actually walked into my office and said, hey P, I don't know that we should ship a pen. I'm like, why? Because nobody writes anymore. You believe that? Like where are we gone? Nobody writes anymore. Guys, it's the power of the pen. We gave you 1,024 points of pressure on the tip of this pen, 1,024. So when you press down, and you know how that ink naturally flows out of your pen? It'll flow out of this pen too. You'll feel that, it's beautiful. We give you a full year of battery life. There's two reasons for that. One, you know something about pens. Every now and then if you use it a lot, you change the ink, that seems reasonable. That's the metaphor. We don't want a rechargeable solution for you because we don't want you to lose that, product, that, that productivity moment if you're in your flow. You don't want to stop, you don't want to worry. That's what this pen is for. It's a tool, it's the power of the pen. Now here's the one thing on the product that I need to tell you about that I still think about all the time and when I see you guys put pen loops on your Surface Pro 3s, I go, ugh. Look, storing a pen is hard. I know that sounds silly, but I wanted to show you what we're doing with this pen. Check this out. So simple. I know, it's pen storage, but I will tell you, the tweets, the feedback, 
you guys wanted pen storage, we created it for you. It's kind of, it's right there, okay? Just wanted to share those for those of you who were frustrated before. Now let me show you the integration of the pen because that's what this is all about, how you use the pen, not just talking about the features of the pen. I'm gonna stand right here, I'm gonna click the pen and you're gonna see um, what happens when OneNote opens up. Do you guys see that? Just a one click and here's OneNote. I can write, look how smooth the ink is coming out of my pen. Can you, can we see this on the screen? Can you guys see that? I wanna make sure you can, okay. Um, and then I can just erase. You can see that easy erasing off the back and it feels like an eraser so that really brings it to life. And then at any given time, you guys have used this, you can double click the pen. And if you double click the pen, what happens is uh, OneNote makes a decision and this is that integration of Office and OneNote on this product. By the way, there isn't a product on the planet that runs Office and OneNote as good as this product. It's unreal. Now I can take whatever I want off this screen. Do you see how I clipped that and that came to life? Let it go and it drops into OneNote just like that and now I can ink on it and I can send this information to my kids or whoever I wanted to. You've seen that, that's pretty cool. There's one more step. Here, if you look down at the bottom, is Cortana. This is Windows 10. If I hold down my pen now, in the most natural form, I'm in a, I have a tablet, how do I want to call her? How do I call Cortana? You just hold the pen, watch down here in the corner. There, tell me about the Microsoft Store in Manhattan. There it is. Came up, which is kind of nice. Then you can see it. There it is, the search results, where all I do is hold the button and I get back my search results. That seems pretty smart, but now I have Edge and now I can write. This is the beauty of the product. So now, at any time, I can now write on the web the way I want to. Is that pretty cool? So this is Edge carrying from here. Now what happened with all that content? What happens? It goes to my Lumia 950 and those things are connected and it is an absolute beautiful thing. But why do you do all this? What's the point? It's not just for the Microsoft applications. It's for others and we're seeing developers being inspired right now. Traditional apps like Lightroom, Photoshop, Illustrator, all touch and pen enabled. Awesome. New apps like Drawboard, Bitwig, from guys out there that want to create things. Some beautiful things. My favorite, made by a gentleman by the name of David William Hearn, is StaffPad. If you haven't seen it, you should. Now, while you watch this video, let me explain to you what's happening with the G5 chipset I enabled that we talked about. Watch how the ink seamlessly flows out of this pen. Watch how natural his hand movement is. Watch how the tip of the pen and the ink are right on the screen because of that thinnest stack ever. Look how smooth it is. Look how elegant his hand is working. But then, stop and look again. Watch how the product is starting to transform from ink to digital content. This is the power that's coming through this product. Watch how he's making things. He's changing things. He's creating with Surface. He's getting every bit he wants. But now look closer. What's really happening? David, out of his mind, down through his body, out of his arm, into his hand, and into your hearts, he just wrote a beautiful symphony just for you. That's what happened. It is so inspiring to see what developers can do, that you can feel the content they're creating that the productivity, the magic coming off these devices. Now we're making it even more personal because this tool has become something so personal. We're introducing five colors of the Surface Pen. I hope you like them, I think they're beautiful. But even more important, we're introducing interchangeable pen tips. Why? Yeah, it's super simple. It's for you, it's for you. Are you a writer? Are you a note taker? You sketch, you draw, you shade, pick a tip, feel them. They are magical. It changes everything. It's like a ballpoint pen to a felt tip pen to even a pencil. Take a look. It feels phenomenal. Let's talk about performance because you guys got to hear about this, okay? Performance. People talk about Surface Pro 3 because of its performance. Yep, it's versatile. Yep, it's a tablet that can replace this laptop, but it is performant. So let's just measure it up. Surface Pro 3, Surface Pro 4, 30% faster than Surface Pro 3, 30, 30%, it's just power. Now I'm not gonna compare it to any pad, I don't care what size, or any tablet. They, they're not in the same class, but I will compare it to what is in its class, and it is the MacBook Air. And I will tell you the MacBook Air 
is a great, great product. It is a great product. It's designed well, it works beautifully. But let's just compare it to give you a sense. Surface Pro 4, 50% faster than MacBook Air. 50. MacBook Air is a great product. I have a Surface Now, you ask for a terabyte of storage, you got it. We're putting a terabyte of storage in the product, you go pick it. You wanted 16 gigabytes of RAM? Yep, we did. It's in there. Go pick it, go check it out. It's there. Terabyte, 16 gigs, 50% pass faster than our competitor, 30% faster than Surface. This is what you expected, right? It's what you get. Now what do we compromise? Nothing. Zero. You know, I used to hesitate saying that. I'm not. It's unreal. We went from 9.1 millimeters to 8.4 millimeters. The only reason we stopped there was to make sure you had the full power of the USB 3.0 port. That's it. There's diminishing returns after that, guys. There is. But it feels so much better in your hand now. There's 60% more pixels on this screen. We grew the screen. We gave you 30% more power. We grew the storage, we grew the memory. It's a thinner and lighter package. That's all true. Nothing traded off. Nothing. Now, let me show you how. Sometimes you want to use this at your desk, right? So let me just walk you over here. I want to introduce you to a new product. This is the Surface Pro docking station. Notice how I say Surface Pro. For those of you who have been asking, what about Surface Pro 3? Okay, this docking station, it works with Surface Pro 3. <clears throat> It literally, it can for you do so many things, but it has two 4K displays out, so we're going to power those in just a minute so you can see the power of this docking station here. Of course, it has four USB 3.0 connectors, it has a gigabit of Ethernet speed, it has everything you want in a dock, but it's just this little package here, this elegant solution. So nothing on your desk except for this. Let your wires go down somewhere else, you don't need the clutter. Now let me show you as I'm docked the power of this product. I'm going to click here on Pro E. Oh. <laughs> I might be getting punked here. Very funny. Very funny. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay. This is a nice job, by the way, guys. That was pretty good. Okay. Uh, this is Surface Pro 4, and what I am using now is Pro E, if you will, or if you will, one of the, one of the engineering tools. Remember when I said earlier that the Surface team uses Surface to build the next Surface? This is the actual Surface database uh, that we use. Let me explode the product out for you so you can get a better view of it and move it down here. So can you see that? This is every part of the surface. If I get the right angle, you can see how all these components come together. Keep in mind, this now is rendering 400 unique custom parts that are built in Surface Pro 4. That's unique, not even Surface Pro 3. This is an entirely new product. It's got 2,000 parts in it altogether. And so you can see how complex something like this can be. But as I move it around so smoothly and so quickly, and as I zoom in, I can look at any component I want. Now I want you to realize what's happening. I'm rendering millions of polygons right now, right in front of you. That's what's happening. I know it's super dorky, but it's super powerful. So just kind of understand the performance there. Let me zoom out to give you that, that look of the product again, and you can see that. You guys feel that power? It's pretty cool, right? So that is the power, and that's the Surface docking station. I hope you love it. I want to introduce you to a new product. And some of you have been asking for the new type cover. Let me just show it to you. This is the new Surface Pro type cover. This is the lightest, thinnest type cover we have ever shipped. The thing people say about type cover that they love is how light and thin it is and how sturdy it is. This product got lighter and thinner and more sturdy. But I want to talk about the key set. We've put in a pro key set on this product. What you'll see is what we went from this tight key set design where we have now filled out the entire key set for your hands. Don't worry though, this product works perfectly with your Surface Pro 3, perfectly. So if you have that one, and I see a bunch of you using Pro 3, which by the way, like you're super inspiring me right now. It's so fun. You can use this product, it's for you. But for Surface Pro 4 users who haven't used it yet or are coming on, I man, you're gonna love it. The key set is beautiful. The key switch has a 1.3 millimeter travel. It's, it, it really is. It's 19 millimeters right now between key sets. It's what we call the pitch. It feels so soft on your hands when you type. Best part, we then took the trackpad and made it 40% larger. That was a big deal. 40%. It feels beautiful. It uses the full power of Windows 10 and really comes to life. What do you guys think of the new type cover? It's very cool. This product, when it clicks in together and comes, it's just harmony. 
I mean, it, you know I love this. I, I hope you love it as much as I do. It's so beautiful. I want to switch gears on you really quick. You guys seen this kid before? Funny, huh? You seen it? I have no idea what he's doing, by the way. I just thought I'd put the picture up to show you. <laughs> Last night, met with the team that built the commercial, and they explained. I, I don't want to explain it to you, but it is pretty cool. Uh, I want to introduce what Windows Hello means to me and my family. So just a quick, just let me do that for just a minute. You guys have been with me with Anastasia for the last couple of years. You've seen her if you've been part of these events. Uh, and they're growing up and they're beautiful children. But I have four kids at home right now. And they are, they are the light of my life. I will tell you Windows Hello will transform the way your household works. Imagine how you can use one Surface now to log in every member of the family and give them their unique content. Let me just show you a quick little video of my babies. This is Anastasia and Sophia. Check out how they're using Windows Hello for the first time. Let's tell the world all the things we've done. Falling in love in the setting sun. I've got a song and a smile so bright. I'll make you wish you were here tonight. All right. Anna, let me do my homework, please. <laughs> Guys, I, they, are, they are super cute. I gotta be, I'm gonna be super honest with you though, they, they don't always get along like that. You probably... <laughs> if, uh, if ever. Um, but somehow that worked out. Hey, in this product there are two things I need to tell you about. The first one is for... This is for the Pro 3 user. If you want Windows Hello, we have the most amazing fingerprint experience to let you log in and out. So the new Surface Pro Set keyboard comes with a fingerprint reader just for those customers. Very cool. Now Surface Pro 4. When you think about algorithms written by the Windows team that guarantee enterprise level face authentication, the work we've done for the front facing camera on Surface Pro 4 is second to none. You get this product and you get the beauty of Windows Hello with it. It is a phenomenal experience. What do you guys think? It's pretty cool, right? I'm holding the thinnest, most powerful surface yet. This is the tablet that can replace your laptop. I said it 18 months ago and I will say it again. It will replace your laptop. It's replaced many of yours up there and we are very proud of that. I'm so proud of you at home. I'm so proud of that team in Redmond. And for those of you watching, thank you for tuning into this. The product starts at $8.99. You can pre-order pretty much right now. It's available October 26th. It's a great, great set of products out there and with a great array. Check it out. Now, don't worry about it. Now, uh, you guys want to talk about another product? Yeah. Yeah, I do too. Sometimes I just walk off and don't, but this time I will, I promise. Let's just sit and think for a minute. <clears throat> What if you've wanted a Surface, but you wanted a laptop Surface? Something with a bigger screen, something with the perfect typing experience of a laptop. And we've been thinking about this for years. What do we do? What if we could do for laptops what we did for tablets? What if we could take all that energy, all that, all that hard work, all that will, all that learning and put it in a laptop. That's what we did. That's what I'm about to show you. We made the ultimate laptop. We made Surface Book.
This is Surface Book. This is the ultimate laptop. It's the first laptop ever built by Microsoft, and it redefines everything. It redefines everything of what you expect in a laptop. Start with the screen. 13 and a half inch diagonal straight across. It delivers six million pixels to your eye, six million. There is nothing close to it, nothing. 267 DPI and the depth of this screen is remarkable. I've been using it, it just blows me away. It has pixel sense, and exactly what we talked about before, it is so much more than just pixels. It brings that pen, that touch experience. David, if you're here, you wanna write a symphony, my friend, write it on this. It will blow you away what this product can do. We push the tech to the thinnest Gorilla Glass possible, same as Pro 4. You look at a photo on this, it'll feel real. You watch a video on it, it will immerse you like nothing has immersed you before. But it can't just be about the screen on a product like this, it has to be about the typing experience. It is one of the most important things in delivering a great laptop. It is one of the things that those of you using laptops on your lap right now need most. I mean, outside of lapability, which you've all made fun of me for, but typing. The typing experience on this product is perfect. The make break is unbelievable. The sound, guys, it's so quiet. You type and it's quiet, but it feels so powerful. It's 1.6 millimeters of travel. We've been making keyboard switches for 25 years at Microsoft. 15 years ago, we brought you the ergonomic keyboard. We know what comfort is. We brought it all to the table. My favorite thing is the dish and the keys, just slide your fingers in, it feels unreal. The trackpad, optimized by the Windows 10 engineering team to bring you precision, perfect tracking. It is made of glass. When you put your finger on it, it glides. It feels so lovely. It has five points of touch on it, it brings every Windows 10 feature to life in a huge way. Now outside of typing and a beautiful screen, what do you expect from a laptop? Phenomenal performance. That's what you should expect. But this is a little bit different than Surface Pro 4. We pushed it further. We wanted to bring you that ultimate performance. This is for the gamer who plays League of Legends. This is for the architect who's building a building right now or designing a bridge and needs to compile and press the system. It's for the scientist right now who's thinking about the cure to cancer who needs to push the machine as far as they can. It's for that coder using the latest Visual Studio where they can compile using the GPU and CPU at the same time and not lose a minute. It's got the latest generation of Intel Core processors in it. They are phenomenal. We push these things, we work with Intel in and out. More important than that, we've tuned this thing to perfect graphics performance, let me explain how. We have the best engineers on the planet that understand a GPU for you to use. Our Xbox team is unreal in what they can do with a GPU. We have the best engineers that understand portability and performance in one package and surface. Do you know what happens when you put those two things together? You end up with Surface Book. <laughs> ounce for ounce, pound for pound. This is the fastest 13 inch laptop ever made anywhere on any planet, this product. <laughs> and with all that power, we give you a full 12 hours of battery life to use this product for, 12 hours. Let me tell you what 12 hours means to me. Use it for a week, I don't have to charge it. Because when I close it, I'm saving every bit of battery life with no drain. It's phenomenal work by the surface engineers. When you open it, you're burning up to 12 hours. You can get to 12 hours, this is huge. You know what that means for you? Like those three guys? It means you don't have to sit where you plug in your cord next time. 
It means you can get a Surface Book and sit up here and you have to worry about the power because you get full power. It's what you need. It's all that performance. But it's portable. Now, how does this compare? It's probably a good question to ask. We compared Surface Pro to the MacBook Air. I think that was fair. We're going to compare Surface Book and how it compares to a MacBook Pro. By adding the discrete GPU, two extra processors, it fundamentally makes Surface Book two times faster than the MacBook Pro, two times faster. It just gives you a sense of the performance of the product. But to give you a better sense, let me walk over here. Do you remember that Surface Dock we talked about earlier? Right here? It works with your Surface Book. So it works for Pro 3, Pro 4, and the Surface Book. And we enable that with one cord plugging in, nothing else, and that's the Surface connector. See if I'm up there, I am. Great. So I'm just going to plug in this USB port. Now you're going to see the PCIe SSD performance in the product, which is basically two times faster than SATA. So if you're paying attention and you understand the kind of details in it, this is just a super fast drive. I'm going to grab, what we have here is uh, three gigabytes of gameplay, and I'm just going to pull it onto my screen and copy it to my desktop. You guys see how fast it copies. I just want you to see that transfer. So this is three gigs transferring full speed and just coming through and boom, just like that, it's on my desktop. Now I'm going to show you some gameplay here and I want to tell you what, it, what you're seeing. It's not just a video. This is actually footage recorded off a Surface Book that was playing Gears of War. I want to show you that so you can see the smoothness of the screen when the play, when the gamer is playing on it. Now we didn't design these products specifically for gamers. That wasn't the goal, but man, games work amazing on it because of its performance. Take a quick look. You just get a look at it really quick. Oops, I opened the wrong thing. Sorry. It's called bad me. You kind of see the performance. No glitches. Now I'm going to take all these just so you can see what I can do with it because now we're getting into creator land. And I'm going to drop them right here into Premiere Pro. This is Adobe Premiere Pro. For those of you who know it, it's a very GPU intensive application. And since we're pushing the GPU in this product, uh, the discrete GPU, I just wanted to show you what it can do from a performance standpoint. I'm going to take those videos, you see how quickly it copied and I'm just going to drag them here. And now what I'm doing is I'm actually editing a movie. Uh, this is where you, you think about what creators do with a product like this. You think what they want to get done. You want to make a movie. You want to push this machine to do so. Watch how I move these games kind of overlapping. This is what, this is content down here if you've never used it. I'm going to play it real time so you can see the game. Now watch here as I apply transitions. And the reason I did that is I want you to kind of understand those transitions are also GPU intensive. So watch what I'm doing and making my own little movie here where I'm going from Gears of War to the other first party game called Gigantic, both played on the Surface Book. Did you see that transition, how smooth it is? For those of you who understand Premiere Pro, we didn't skip one frame and we were in full GPU rendering. So you then ask, how do you do it? What are the tricks? How do you get such amazing performance and keep all that battery life? How do we make it so we can get rid of those cords as long as we possibly can? How do we do it with no extra weight? The product in its class is unbelievably light. Now, it's craftsmanship. It's every detail. It's surface. It's what you expect. Every single part starts as a billet and is machined to fit perfectly down to the tens of microns. So every Surface Book that we will build, it will be unique. It will have its own footprint. But it will be seamless. The lines will come off exactly how we intended them. There will be no gaps. It will feel fit. It's what you expect from so much performance. I took you through this. I took you through an elegant laptop with an unbelievable typing experience, a beautiful screen. It outperforms any competitor in its class. It's the first laptop from Microsoft. This is Surface Book. This is the ultimate laptop. This product starts at $14.99 and is also available for pre-order. And it's available October 26th. What do you guys think?
It's the ultimate laptop. But uh, I want to tell you about our culture in Surface for just a minute. We got this whole thing, you know, and this is now devices. We're relentless. Satya pushes us to be growth hackers. Like we can't just stop. Like I, I lose sleep. Just a laptop? What? Surface Pro 4. It was about bringing the thunder. This product is going back to reinventing categories. Take a look at this video one more time, just one more time, but this time, let's watch a little bit closer. Okay, sorry. <laughs> this is now the thinnest, most powerful PC ever created. It weighs only 1.6 pounds. It's that 13 and a half inch screen we talked about. It is 7.7 .7 millimeters thin. Don't worry, your USB ports, they're in the base. It's that same three by two aspect ratio you're familiar with. It is modeled and metaphored after an A4 piece of paper to give you that natural feel. It's a clipboard. Look at it. You know when you use that laptop and you want to show somebody what's on it and you want, that's what you use as a laptop? And you want to turn it around, is that what you do? You kind of turn it around? Now you just seamlessly remove it and you just hand it over and it feels so good when you touch it. When you're reading on the couch and you're looking at Flipboard, it's built for side-by-side -side magazine flipping it's unreal, the reading experience. When you're reading the web and reading articles that people are writing, guessing what you're working on next, it's phenomenal for that too. This product brings to life a whole new, you know what? I, I wasn't gonna, we have to do this. I want a few of you to touch it. So I'm gonna pull it out. Who wants to, you guys wanna feel it really quick? You do? Okay. Check this out. You gotta feel how light it is. I know, I'm over time, whatever. Like, here's the deal. This is uh, Hey man, enjoy it. Thank you. Check it out. Hey look, you know what you're, that cool? Do you know what you're holding? Like the most powerful thinnest PC ever made. That's what you're holding right there. Isn't that cool? It's very cool. You can see him carry, I know. Pass it around guys, just pass it back so people can feel it. I want to show you what else you can do with the product because it's important to understand the performance on it and the power of what's happening. The GPU is in the base. Can you guys sit down and just pass it around? Yeah, sorry. The GPU, they, they warned me that giving them out would cause ruckus, so. Uh, <clears throat> the GPU is in the base of this product. So now I've plugged the product in here. And I've reversed it. We call it draw mode. I'll show you how simple that is in just a minute. But now I have the full power of the GPU 
plugged into the top of the powerful PC that it is. And now we're back to that full ultimate laptop performance we talked about. And if you're, yeah, that's cool. If you're a creator, you know this. This is a 3D image on here and uh, I'm using Autodesk. And if I were to just work on this T-Rex, you see how I can, how quickly I can render? Right here I'm putting basically spikes on his back. Can you guys see that? How cool and how seamless that is? And let's just look, you know, dude, let's have some fun. And if you were to just put some scars on him and you're starting to make a real animated character just like this, I'm doing it with my pen, I'm doing it with touch. When we talked about this coming together, is that pretty cool? That's a full GPU rendering right now in my hand with a pen. But the real thing to understand is how we did it. How do you have a laptop? What did the Surface team do? How did the engineering team pull it off? I'm going to show you the hinge. This here is what's known as a dynamic fulcrum. It's what we call it internally. It's total dork talk, but hold on. We did it purposefully. We wanted to be able to give you all that power in the top of the device, all that battery, all the energy you need to make it a full clipboard experience. If you're the architect, you get to walk around with it. If you're on a job site, you walk around with it. If you're my friend who's an NFL quarterback or a friend who's a coach or a friend who's this and you're using it and writing, you get to use it as a clipboard. But when you plug it in, you need to be able to extend this base to be able to give the perfect balance for lapability in the product. Watch how the base extends itself. Check it out. See how long that got? Is that pretty cool? That's an, that is the hinge designed by my team out in Redmond. They are just phenomenal at the work they're able to do. Now how do we separate it? How do we get away from the clickety clackety clack and levers and this and that and what, 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 how do I get it off? It's so simple. We use a technology called muscle wire invented um, by Microsoft. And within the muscle wire basically you throw, you throw a charge into it, it expands and contracts elegantly. And what it does is it locks in the screen or it doesn't. And so basically when you want to remove the top, it's a full, by the way, it's a full laptop. You see, this is the whole point of it. I'm supposed to use it as a laptop and never think twice. It is the ultimate laptop. But at any given time, if I want to, I just pull it off. That's it. And now, that quickly, that elegantly, I can move with this device and I can just plug it back in so simply and it locks in and it's just a laptop. That's all it is. And it comes together just like that. I've shown you something here that is the most powerful laptop on the planet. It has touch. It has pen. It has more pixels than any screen in its class. And it does this, just like that. Now this. This is the ultimate laptop. I just want you to feel the rhythm of the product. Thanks for having me, guys. Check this out. There is a rhythm. You have to listen to hear it. It beats inside each and every one of us. It beats like a drum. It says get out there, create, do something special. It is the rhythm of inspiration and it whispers. Be bold, be an artist, a tight of business. It says make music, inspire, build, be a hero, nurture that rhythm, take it with you and make it sing. We all have greatness in us, and with the right tools, there are no limits to where your rhythm will take you. Introducing the ultimate laptop, Surface Book by Microsoft. Thank you, Panos. It's fantastic to be in New York. Sitting backstage gave me an opportunity to see our work. I've seen it many times before, but it gave me this opportunity to see it with a fresh set of eyes and reflect. It's amazing to see the innovation and momentum with Windows. Holograms in your living room, a band that works 
with all your phones, but more importantly, frees you from phones. A phone that transcends screens, a tablet that can replace your laptop, even an all new digital clipboard that turns into an ultimate laptop. We're making great progress towards our aspiration we shared in January, to move people from needing windows to choosing windows to loving windows. Since our launch in July, we've grown to 110 million active Windows devices. It's by far the fastest ramp we've had. Office, Bing, Xbox Live usage is up, visits to the Windows Store and the app acquisition is up, and more and more people are coming home to Windows. It's wonderful to see the enthusiasm for Windows the new growth opportunities for the entire ecosystem. We now begin a new chapter of Windows 10 with new devices built for Windows 10 from us and our partners. We built Windows 10 for a new era of more personal computing. What matters most is the mobility of your experience, not the mobility of any single device. Because as devices come and go and evolve, you persist. And the journey of personal computing has taught us this single lesson. No single device will be a hub of activity forever. The hub is you. This means your content, your data, settings, apps need to be mobile with you. To whatever device makes the most sense at a given time, at a given place. This is what motivates us to build Windows 10 as a mobile, personal, trusted service spanning Raspberry Pi to the HoloLens. A unified platform for people, developers, and IT. Windows 10 is a major step forward in our ambition to create this more personal computing future. The innovation you saw today drives home the point of why we build devices. We build them to create and complete magical experiences. We think of ourselves in the experience business. We're not just building hardware for hardware's sake. To perfect the experience, we obsess about every choice that matters across silicon, the hardware system, the operating system, and even the applications that run on them. When we envision the opportunity to create a new category, we consider both new forms and new functions simultaneously. We plan to invent new personal computers and new personal computing. The introduction of the HoloLens is a great example of that. It's both a device that we are excited about, but it's a new paradigm for computing. We believe developers and commercial partners around the globe will reinvent gaming, communications, industrial design, architecture, education, healthcare, and much more. Similarly, our band is both a sensor platform and a cloud service that empowers you to achieve your health goals and connect you to what matters the most in your life. When it comes to phones, we're building the most productive phone on the planet. New office apps run beautifully on phones. Cortana personalizes the experience on your phone, but travels with you across your devices to help you get things done. Lumia 950 and 950 XL with Continuum are phones you can run your entire business on. And in developing markets, where phones can be your first or your only computing device, 
they give you both a phone and a PC-like experience in a single device. With Xbox, we're optimizing for the incredible experiences combining the power of console graphics and Xbox Live social gaming. With Windows 10, we're extending that gaming experience to the PC. The concept of building a new device for an application experience is best brought to life with Surface. Surface is built to perfect productivity. We, in fact, reason and build Office, Windows, Surface together from the ground up. This is how we are going to reinvent productivity. This is how we are reinventing productivity. With the new Surface Book, we're giving artists, musicians, architects incredible creative freedom that comes with the lightest digital clipboard. But it then becomes a full-powered laptop with a simple click. These are the types of new Windows devices and experiences that we believe people will love. I want to close by briefly talking about our mission. Every successful company has a soul, a unique sensibility that is the source of its inspiration and its creativity. Our mission at Microsoft is to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. Everything that is impactful and unique about Microsoft is captured and emanates from this mission. We make things that help you make things and make things happen. Whether it's writing a term paper, creating a new world in Minecraft, working to find a cure for cancer, or launching a new business. We approach our work every day with a mindset focused on learning about people's aspirations and how technology can help them realize their true potential. It means innovating in new areas, pushing those boundaries. It means partnering broadly. It means caring deeply about your success. This is what drove us to build the devices we launched today. We look forward to hearing what you think of these new devices and the experiences they empower. Thank you for coming, and thank you very, very much. There are those that will tell you it's too difficult, too challenging to even try. But you refuse to accept any limits. You have big ideas and the drive to make them happen. That spirit that compels us to move forward is not just in some of us, it's in all of us. It's why we build and explore. It's why we create and push ourselves to go further. It's the same spirit that inspires us to connect. For those who are bold enough to do great things, Microsoft devices help you achieve more. Because when there are no limits to what your devices can do, there are no limits to what you can do with them.